Greetings, dear W124 friends and fans. It's Ivica speaking. At the very beginning, I would kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel. Our today's topic is going to be the coolant temperature sensor. The coolant temperature sensor has the task to report the ECU that uh, the engine is whether cold or warm. When uh, the engine is cold, the ad additional uh, enrichment uh, is needed in order uh, for the engine uh, to achieve uh, the their operating temperature. You see, when uh, these uh, uh, sensors uh, go bad, then you can have uh, a, a high uh, fuel consumption. The coolant temperature sensor is located here. There are two types of uh, these uh, sensors. There is uh, an older one and uh, a newer one. An older one has uh, two contacts and uh, the newer one has uh, four of them. Uh, this this uh, sensor goes bad after some uh, hundred thousand uh, miles. You can check it. In order to check uh, the sensor, you will have uh, to use your multimeter and uh, measure the resistance. As for the older models, you uh, stick uh, a positive into the contact and the negative uh, onto the ground. Uh, and the ground is uh, any metal part of your car chassis. You need to measure on the, the older models each of the contacts separately and then uh, see uh, the target uh, value. On the newer models you will have uh, to measure the contacts uh, parallel. One is uh, for the spark and the second one is uh, for the contact. The target value you have to get uh, is uh, 2.5 kilo ohm when the engine is cold and when the engine is warm the uh, temperature falls down you, uh, so that you have uh, to get uh, 350 ohms about 350 at uh, the operating temperature when the engine is uh, warm, as we know, 80 degrees uh, C or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. If you notice any irregularities, then you replace uh, the sensor and uh, you buy either Bosch or Hella. Well, this doesn't mean that uh, this is your problem if you notice the higher fuel consumption. Maybe it's something else, maybe it's an O2 sensor or something else, but you can check it easily with a multimeter. So let's see how my engine is behaving cold. Let's measure the resistance. And now let's see how it behaves warm.
So as you have already seen, I got a pretty exact uh, target. The resistance is good, so I know that uh, I don't have uh, a bad uh, coolant temperature sensor. So if you liked this video, then share it, like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any additional questions, please uh, let me know down in the section down below. And till the next video, happy Mercedesing! Bye.